this video, I want to show you two different blitzes that you can use for two different situations, but in essence, they're going to cause the same basic result, and that is the Dime 146 DB Sting 2 Buzz and the Nickel 245 Odd Pinch 2. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload new videos every single day, and I also want to let you know that I just released my Dime 146 defense over at my True Fan membership page. That True Fan membership is my Patreon. It's the best way that you can support me as a creator, and the way that you way that it works is essentially... For $10 a month, you get every access to every ebook that I've released, every defense, every offense. So I've released a lot of different defensive guides, the 146. I've also released the full 245 odds. So if you want both of those, you can get those over there. And then also from time to time, I'll release exclusive tips. So they might be not be something that I would put in a guide, but they would be something that I would like to break down. For example, like a way that you could get a user speed boost with your user or different types of you know tips and tricks like that so some of the more in-depth stuff so uh it's ten dollars a month you can cancel whenever you want so make sure to go over and join that if you want to get access to the full scheme i'm going to give you two different blitzes they're going to look exactly the same and we're just going to show we're going to talk about why you would use the two in different formation or different situations so the first one is the dime 146 so why would you use the dime 146 well the reason you would use the dime 146 is in situations where they are running three wide receivers four wide receivers or five wide receiver personnel groupings. Those three personnel groupings are the best sets to run these 9146 because you're not going to get weak boxed. You're going to be able to shoot the run with your user and then you're going to be able to essentially uh, force them to have to pass. And when they have to pass, the 9146 bodes probably the best combination of pressure, cross manning and coverage schemes in the entire game. Now, that being said, the nickel 245 odd. Well, why would you run the nickel 245 odd? Essentially, we're going to run these two exactly the same, which bodes the question why would you run one or the other? Well, the reason you would run the 245 odd is because the 245 odd doesn't get weak boxed against two tight end personnel groupings or two running back personnel groupings. So essentially, if they have fewer than three wide receivers, so if they have two wide receivers, one wide receiver, or zero wide receivers, I would recommend the 245 odd pressure. If they have three wide receivers, four wide receivers, or five wide receivers, then I would recommend running the Dime 146. And the beauty of these two defenses is they literally look exactly the same. They come from the same coverage shell, and they are set up essentially the exact same way. So that being said, let's jump into the video. We're going to first cover the nickel 245 odd. You've probably seen this blitz before. This is something that I've posted. I think there's something that pretty much everybody has posted at some point in the season. Um, but it's very simple. Literally, all we're going to do is we're going to come out and pinch two. But what we want to do is we want to go into our coaching adjustments. And in this, and when you're in practice mode, you don't have coaching adjustments, unfortunately. So what you have to do is go into your game options. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn auto flip off. And then we're going to essentially, in your coaching adjustments, you would want to go ahead and put the base al auto alignment set to base align, whereas in, in practice mode, you're going to have to do it yourself. So we're just going to come out in 245 odd flipped, okay? Now, later, we're going to come out in dime one for six flipped. So I'm just going to show you these two pressures. The first one is pinch two flipped. All we're going to do from the cover or an adjustment setup is base align and press. And then we're going to stand kind of right here with our user. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is you're going to get crazy pressure. Oftentimes, you'll be able to get a gap edge and um, and a gap left edge and right edge pressure, and they're going to have a ton of challenge uh, stopping this blitz, especially if you get your user down. As you can see right there, I'm basically doing a swerve mechanic with my user. Now that's one way to run this. The second way to run it is to user this guy and basically stand over the tight end delay fade. Right, so because your user is on a zone, if the tight end goes on a delay fade, I'll show you that real quick. And I'm not sure if it'll work against Bunch, but normally does. He'll basically auto release right there. It didn't work, but a lot of times he will often, uh, or a lot of times he will basically auto release out into a route. Okay, now why this works so well? Again, we're just base aligning. You don't have to press if you don't want to. I'll show you the defense does work if you don't press. As you can see, you're gonna get pressure. Okay, you're gonna get pressure. So that's the beauty of it. And you're going to force them to have to block basically max protect. Because if they don't max protect, I will tell you that I don't think that it's very consistent to pick up this blitz. Even if they do max protect, a lot of times you're going to get pressure anyway. So this is one of my favorite defenses, especially in situations where my opponent likes to block a running back or block a tight end. This is going to force them to have to max protect to be able to pick up the pressure consistently. Keyword is consistently. Okay. 
Um, the second thing that I wanted to show you though is the dime one four six. Just like the other play, we are going to flip the formation. And just like the other play, we're gonna baseline. The only additional adjustment to the other to dime one four six as opposed to the other play is we are going to zone our linebackers and we're going to crash our line down. So I'll show you what this looks like. So we come out, the DB scene two, we're gonna baseline, even though you'd already be baseline if you were running this in, in Ultimate Team. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take the middle linebacker on the right side of the screen and put him into a deep blue zone. Or if you want to put him in a mid read, you can. Uh, then you're going to crash your D-line down. And then you're going to do this, basically stand exactly in the same spot. Now, if you look at the play art, it literally looks exactly like the other blitzing concept. And what you'll see is the result is basically the same. As you can see right there, we're able to get consistent pressure against them if they send five out on a route. Now, again... If they block, let's say they block their running back, for example. Now, I will say, Dom 146, you might have to contain uh, the corner on the right to get this to work properly. So the way you would do that is you would come out, you would contain, and then you would crash your line down. So it would look something like this, okay? This is a great blitzing concept in and of itself. But oftentimes, if they just block their tight end or their running back, this blitz will come in. Obviously, there's other ways that we can do this and tinker with this. This is just meant to be a simplified tutorial uh, for how I like to do it. Uh, out of this formation. So again, I'm gonna go ahead now and block the delay fade. And what you'll see here is I come in here and oftentimes that pressure will essentially come around off the edge. Now, in one, four, six, as in the same in two, four, five odd, um, if you stand kind of right here and just hold the left trigger off, cause you're gonna basically glitch out the guard. As you can see, the pressure is going to loop in. So that's kind of the same two blitzes, essentially, but they're from two entirely different personnel groupings. Now, to take this concept a little bit further, and I'm not saying that this one works, I just wanna kind of take the concept just a step further. Let's say you're facing goal line, or let's say you're facing uh, someone that's running an offense that is hard to stop, like they're running the ball a lot, or they're coming out in that kind of personnel grouping. Well, you can go to this 3-4 predator formation, um, uh, maybe not the 3-4. You can do it out of really anything. 3-4 um, odd. We'll use 3-4 odd. And you can go to the pinch dog 2 press. And in the same way, we're going to spread our line. We're going to spread our linebackers. We're going to press. We're going to crash our line down. And it doesn't look exactly the same. But I will tell you that you will get pretty significant pressure in this concept. As you see right there, we get some looping pressure, get some edge pressure. This is the core blitzing concept in Madden 22. And, you know, this is what I'm kind of getting at. This cover two, send five, is becoming the meta. It probably already is the meta. And I think you need to start running concepts like this. So if you want to learn exactly how to set these blitzes up in a higher level and get access to all of my defensive material as well as my incredible offenses and the bunch and the bunch tight end this year, um, I would encourage you to join the True Fan membership. Like I said, it's the best way to support me as a creator. If you've gotten any value out of my channel, I would really appreciate your support. And I think you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck. It's only $10 a month. You can cancel it at any time. And like I said in the beginning, we give you access to everything. You get all the eBooks, all the tips, all the breakdowns, everything that we do, uh, you're gonna get access to that for just 10 bucks a month and you can cancel it whenever you want. So be sure to sign up for the True Fan membership. I'm gonna put a link to do that in the description below. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time.